often is not symmetrical. It is a, uh, if you take, for example, of the ontogenetical story of, uh, every, of each being, uh, you start from a position which is uh, the position of the new world, the position of inferiority. And in all relationships with other, <coughs> with other beings, uh, um, this, it, it is not exactly the meeting of two equal or two similar um, beings endowed with the same. For example, one may already occupy a space and the other is uh, at the beginning excluded from this space. So there is a, a relation of, of power, there is a relation of force, of different asymmetrical forces, which uh, in my opinion, it's not simply accidental that is, you can meet uh, with one or the other and you uh, can be in different situations, but which is essential to the situation of meeting. So, that sum, uh, the, the being together, uh, in my opinion, has a, a rather uh, peaceful and harmonious uh, accent, which uh, maybe is not the uh, real. Surely this is not the situation in which we begin our life. So, I would like, if this uh, conflictual or this at least uh, asymmetrical uh, situation uh, can be, uh, can find a place in your theoretical uh, arrangement of the problem of, of, of sympathy, because I feel, I am afraid that insisting with the theme of with, the empathy with, the being with, the, we forget the, the, uh, this problem which uh, I think is very present in the life of Miguel uh, uh, <laughs> remember the fact that there are animals which are prey for their life, for all their life, not only when they are just newborn. So uh, it is uh, uh, an aspect which cannot be overlooked. and. Uh, uh, so I would like uh, just to have uh, an explanation from you. Surely you're right to bring in the uh, issue of hierarchy and power relations. And, and what I would use uh, to develop this theme, given my overall framework, is interpretation that works from the basis of later theorists of body beyond Merleau-Ponty for instance, um, Michel Foucault. And I think on, on that level, we can make some sense of the very sorts of dynamics you're talking about. Um, there has been an uh, attempt to do some of this. Its applications are still yet to be uh, settled and worked out. Uh, one Iris Braverman has been bringing some of Foucault's uh, work to bear on animal questions, but with uh, results that uh, Ken Shapiro informs me may be less than what we're looking for. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Other questions? Ken? Yeah, great talk. I would love this one for you. Um, even if I'm a fall guy. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, uh, I mean, how, if you're working at the level of ontology, or I'm working at the level of concrete phenomena, Describe it. Uh, and you're, you're talking from a later low party, and I came from an earlier low party. I attempt to understand uh, But the, what the only thing I would say is that, in defense of my methodology, which is again at the level of concrete phenomena, and I didn't, I didn't hear much difference in your description of the squirrel from what I would come up with. So I'm not sure what cash value was. But, but I would say that uh, one of the moves I would make. Psychologist studying a particular concrete phenomenon is that I would bracket the ontology. In other words, I wouldn't start from some notion that I'm alien from, or separate from, and you know, so I would try to bracket that as one of the social constructions and, and, and simply let the phenomenon appear. Well, I, I, I wouldn't dispute that. I, I want to do something. Uh, similar, it's just that as a philosopher, then I raise the issue of ontology and start talking about its historical precursors and ramifications and things like that. Sort of. 
Other questions? May I follow up? Sure. Uh, just, mm, I, I think that in the, under this just a little bit. Would you stand up and talk? Okay, sure. Okay, okay. But it does not deserve such a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> just a little thing. I, I perfectly agree with the fact that uh, maybe uh, uh, <clears throat> a philosophical attitude toward uh, this problem can uh, apparently add nothing to the description and can add uh, only, a, 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 only a, bit, a, bit, a little bit. But uh, <clears throat> the great uh, danger which I see in uh, uh, breaking uh, the problem of ontology is the fact that you <clears throat> that it is very difficult to think of alternatives that it is very difficult in by a described by a merely descriptive uh, attitude to think of the genealogy of what the happens and to take what is here now today in 2015 in America or in Europe and so on as the only possible way of understanding it's, it's a risk in which it is uh, run very often, I mean, to, of course, I, I, I don't mean you, but it's a, it's, it's a risk because uh, I think that the depth in, uh, uh, for example, a, a contrib contribution from anthropology and contribution from, contribution from ontology might uh, uh, show the radical historicity of uh, our relationship with animals, for example. The fact that they have been molded in a particular situation which they depend on this and that uh, um, uh, historical, philosophical, religious and theological context. And uh, in my opinion, this uh, can help uh, relativize them, to, to, to make them more relative than they are. And so, to use a word to, to, to refer to a great historical and philosophical school, to have a critical theory of them in a much more radical way than uh, a more descriptive. So I think that what you pay for this uh, it is a, a, great bit, a great deal of abstraction, uh, because it is perfectly clear that in uh, this uh, account you have uh, you, you, this, you go very far from uh, uh, an application of this is earned uh, as an advantage that is the possibility of uh, radical alternatives. Radical alternatives that is to, uh, to the idea that uh, uh, the age, the, the place and so on are relevant aspects of this whole and uh, colleague Michela said uh, we should have also an anthropologist in this uh, this uh, meeting, maybe I perfectly agree because I think I think that uh, the uh, the focus on the different of the on different completely different ways of understanding uh, relationship between human and non-human animals could have been uh, very useful for us. And so maybe that's, that's kind of anthropology which is offered by philosophy, in particular by, by ontology, may have, I think it's possible, may have a critical, a much more critical uh, relevance to what you were saying. So, but this is a difference of uh, a, a, a difference in methods, and I think not in the aims and the goals we want to achieve. But uh, okay.
today, it struck me, uh, listening to Don Broom's work, that there are ways that we can know of the living bodies we call plants, that such entities are very well or ill, and therefore it's not ultimately ridiculous to talk about or refer to a sort of botanical welfare. And in as much as that's the case, the idea of synthesis reaching out to other forms of animate beings that are not necessarily animals, I think, should not be closed or precluded in advance, although I haven't spent much time developing it myself. Yes? Sorry, maybe it's really a basic question, but uh, what's the relation between uh, your new conception of the body scene and the classical materialism, you know, from John Locke, uh, we're here in the space, both speaking, uh, so far we have organs and uh, so on. Yes. Uh, so, the notion, the notion of symphosis that I'm using uh, differs in that we card from earlier materialism in that it's looking at bodily phenomena from the perspective of experience rather than an external or quantitative or scientific uh, mode of uh, description and explanation. Though uh, it's interesting that you mention uh, a British figure, uh, John Locke, it's not, not precisely Locke who I would uh, cite as someone who's a precursor of the kinds of things that I'm trying to say, but rather the, fig the figures of the Scottish Enlightenment, um, David Hume, Francis Hutcheson, uh, Adam Smith, and it's then along with Shaler that I uh, refer to in terms of historical uh, precursors in making use of the terminology of sympathy and so forth. That and, and a certain kind of uh, uh, et etymological proximity in interpreting things in terms of feeling with <coughs> sitting versus 